and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm the blogger behind writerdarling.com. Today we're doing um, two Stitch Fix unboxings. I actually had a Stitch Fix box come in September and then I skipped October and then November. Um, but I obviously didn't get a chance to film September because it was right before I had my baby. So um, I want to just combine both of these in one and oh my gosh my hair is driving me nuts and show you guys what I got. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with the September box. Um, I have the products, the items here, and I'm wearing one of the shirts. So um, let me just start by saying, if you don't know anything about Stitch Fix, this is really quick. It is a subscription box that you can choose to get as frequently or infrequently as you want. Um, I choose to get it sporadically, basically whenever I feel like I need a little wardrobe refresh. Um, since I did recently have a baby, I had started using, well, restarted using Stitch Fix when I was in my later part of my pregnancy because they do have a Stitch Fix maternity, which I had a great experience with. And I've since kept my stylist after the baby, and she has been a great, great stylist. So it's really important to get a stylist that understands your um, taste. Um, you can request certain items you can you tell them your style you tell them your sizes you tell them how things fit you you tell them how you like clothes to fit do you like snug fit on the bottom do you like loose on the top um you tell them colors or patterns you don't like really it's so foolproof to get a box that you like if you do a very thorough profile and you're very clear on what you don't and do like and you link your Pinterest page so um, or your Instagram. I know I've linked my Pinterest or my Instagram for on my account so my stylist not only sees my Instagram, she also sees my Pinterest page and can see a little bit more what my everyday style is and what my taste is. You also can pick your budget so if you're not comfortable spending a certain amount of money on pants, jackets, shirts, whatever, sorry guys my hair, um, you're picking your price point. Now, keep in mind, this is not going to be price points of like TJ Maxx or Target or like Old Navy sale prices because you're paying for the cost of convenience of having someone select items for you and ship them to your house. So whenever I get a Stitch Fix, I keep in mind that things might be a little more money than I normally would pay, but that's because somebody's picking this out for me. You got to pay that person and they're shipping the box to my house. I don't have to go to the store. So just know it'll never be as cheap as that, but I feel like for the convenience of having something that fits me, that I really like, that fits my style, and I don't have to leave my house, especially with a newborn at home, it's really ideal, especially for me right now. So, um, I will have a link below if you wanna try Stitch Fix. I am not an affiliate, I just have a referral code as anybody who signs up for Stitch Fix will and would. Um, I think I get a $25 credit if you choose to sign up with my link, but you also get 25% off your first box. So, or $25 off your first box, I'm sorry. Um, so it's totally worth it and once you sign up and uh, get your first box you'll also have a referral code and you can share that with your friends and family. So anyway let's get into my September box. So in the September box I um, had told my stylist that I wanted some things that I can transition in to wear after I had the baby because my baby was born October 12th. So I knew that um, I still wanted to wear things that would be a little more comfortable and flowy, um, but I knew I wasn't gonna really totally be wearing maternity really anymore. Um, maybe some things here and there, but yeah, essentially I, I wanted things to transition me after baby. And I didn't really want maternity stuff anymore. I specifically requested um, camo, pro like anything camo related. I wanted like camo print and I wanted a pair of jean leggings, jeggings. I have no jeggings, I just have stretchy jeans. Um, but I figured jeggings would be perfect after baby because I knew my tummy was going to still be, you know, in a work in progress and Camo's really in right now. So I was so excited to get this box and um, see the products that Kristen, my stylist, had sent. So to start, um, let's go with the first thing that I really loved. She sent me the Spanx Camo leggings. I never had a pair of Spanx leggings. I've heard nothing but great things about Spanx leggings. And I was so excited to see that, um, I have a dog hair. There's gonna be dog hair on a lot of this stuff. Um, I was really excited to see that Stitch Fix had and carried Spanx brand. Like I'm used to Stitch Fix having kind of like no, not no name brands, but brands you don't usually see in stores. But lately they've been carrying a lot of recognizable um, household name brands. So um, I got these 
awesome camel uh, Spanx leggings. They're high-waisted, so really great for post-pregnancy. Really great for anyone who wants the nice, like, tighten, pulled-in uh, look. And yeah, they're, you know, your traditional legging, they go full length, and I just really, I've been living in these guys. If I'm not wearing plain black leggings, I'm wearing these, and that's what I've been doing pretty much every day. This, I literally opened the box, I was so excited, so love these. Uh, the next item is a black, plain black, kind of flowy, athleisure wear, kind of has... It's this uh, long sleeve with the dolman, um, like wider sleeve shirt, plain black. But what's really cute is it has this nice little um, detail on the upper neck, upper back. So when my hair is up, which is often when you have a baby, it's at least clipped up halfway. I feel like I'm not just wearing a plain black shirt. It's got a little bit of style to it. The next piece I got is a top as well. Um, it's this. Very Stephanie color, like earthy, tan um, t-shirt, but it has like the little knot in the front. Very cute. Um, and this was slightly baggy, so I really like that. This little side detail, um, you know, knotted detail is cute. Gives it a little something extra so you don't feel like you're just wearing a plain t-shirt. And it's a very lightweight, like that modal soft material. The next thing in the box is what I requested. I wanted a pair of jeggings so my stylist sent me these they're by the brand liverpool los angeles and i've been wearing these a lot too so they are due to be washed i've been wearing them non-stop i think of this side um so they're just plain jeggings these are in a size six i love this thicker waistband here very stretchy um just got you know pockets on the back slight like slight slight heathering but nothing major and i like that it's not too much on the pant itself. I think that that actually is very not flattering to most women when it's light down the center of the thigh. It just makes your legs look wider. So um, I like that these aren't like that. And these are so comfortable, very soft denim. They don't feel cheap at all. Um, a nice thickness, they're not too thick, but they're not really thin where they feel like they're gonna rip. They're just great. And this is the other bottoms I've been wearing nonstop because they're basically leggings. The last item that came in this box is actually the shirt I'm wearing right now. It's like this little cozy, kind of like um, kind of like a sweatshirt, but it's not here. And it's just it just says it's all good. It's ugh. she actually sent me this in a small, and I ended up exchanging it for a medium, which I'm wearing right now. Which hindsight being 2020, I should have kept the small because the medium is very big and it actually makes me look bigger than I am right now. Um, but it's fine for bumming around the house, running errands around town, um, and it's cute because it really bags off the shoulder and I can have like a little bra underneath and that's fine. The small fit loosely, but it was very difficult for me to decide if I should keep the small or the medium when I first got this box because I was eight and a half months pregnant, basically the biggest I was going to be and I had no idea how tops were really going to fit me um, once baby was here. So. My fault, I should have left this as a small. So Kristen, if you're watching this, you were right when, in sending me the small, um, but whatever, it's fine. So all in all, the total of my box was $276. However, when you keep all of the items in your box, you get a 25% off discount. When you discount the 25% for all of the items, plus you discount the $20 you already paid for the styling fee, the total for these pieces is $187. So um, I felt like for five items that wasn't bad at all. If you can get five pieces of clothes that you feel are good quality for under $200, I feel good about that. Um, so needless to say, I kept all of these items, all five of these items, and I've been wearing them nonstop. Obviously, the black shirt needs to be washed, the jeans need to be washed, and yeah, I just... I love them so I really was happy with that box uh, it's also really cute when they send you the cards to show you like how to style the pieces if you're not sure which is all always helpful to just get inspiration for things you might have in your closet that you don't think about pairing with the new items you have so yeah I really love that so the next box that I got recently this November box 
Um, I will be up front. I did not keep all five of the pieces and I had to ship the item, the box back before I got charged for the whole thing. Um, so I will have to just insert photos of the things I didn't keep. But the things I, the only things I didn't keep were bottoms. And the reason I didn't keep bottoms is because I am now clear to start working out and I do hope to kind of firm things up a little bit, maybe lose a few more pounds. Um, and I didn't want to keep pants that would be like really baggy or loose on me within the next couple months. I want to be able to wear them for a while. So I opted to send back the two bottoms that Kristen sent me, but she sent me three tops and I kept all those. Um, I will say the bottoms she picked me were super cute, very on my alley. One of them was a pair of, um, black leggings with like a moto style ruched detail on the panel, the side panel, really cute totally on my alley. The reason I just didn't keep those black leggings, in addition to the fact that I feel like the sizing might be a little too, they're leggings, so I can't really say they're gonna be big on me, but I just felt like I have a lot of black leggings already, and she, the size she told me was a medium, and I in between small and medium when it comes to leggings. So I just felt like, why keep a pair of leggings that A, I have a million of black leggings of, and B, the size might be a little off. So sent those back, and then the second, the bottoms she sent me were a pair of olive green, leg, like pant, what do you call it? All right, so they're called skinny pant. They were essentially olive green jeggings, but they were like dress pant material, if that makes any sense. And it didn't have like regular pockets on the back. It was like a dress pant pocket. And for me, A, they didn't fit me very well. But the biggest thing was I felt like they were a little too mature for me. If they were olive green jeggings, I probably would have kept them. But the three tops she sent me, I kept really like, and yeah, let's get to that part. So the first piece she sent me, I did request um, an outfit to wear for the holidays. I think I said Thanksgiving, but I didn't realize this box came after Thanksgiving, like right after Thanksgiving. So um, this shirt, this sweater she sent me to have with the, um, olive pants and I actually wore this sweater in a recent video you guys will see um, I still have the tag on though because I wanted to uh, film this with the tag still on it since the other outfits are used and abused but anyway um, this is the sweater super cute like gray and blush pink marled sweater crew neck basic um, I have a lot of big baggy sweaters that I bought last year when I first got pregnant but this one's more like body conscious it's not body conscious i don't know what you would call it it's more like fitted it's not super baggy but yet it's not tight um so i just didn't have anything like this in my closet and i did think that it's really cute to wear for the season um holidays get togethers with friends things like that so um and i did like the idea of wearing it with the olive pants and i do have two pairs of olive jeans from before pregnancy i doubt they fit me now maybe my next fix I can get olive jeans and wear this with that outfit instead of the olive pants you sent Kristen if you're watching. <laughs> the next one I also wore in a video. You guys will have seen this one. I uh, kept this. This was a little out of my comfort zone. I know Kristen said that in her note that she sent me that it has these little hearts, but she had wanted me to pair this with the, jegge the um, leggings, the black leggings she sent. But again, I can pair this with any number of black leggings I have already. Um, just this cute little kind of like a sweatshirt slash sweater material. It's that fuzzy kind of soft material, really stretchy. The last piece I sent, I kept that I am getting a lot of wear out and, sorry, I gotta get the dog hair out. Um, and Kristen knows me well from my style. It is just this um, camo cardigan. It's a little bit long. It's an open front, like it doesn't have any buttons. And, um, yeah, it has pockets, which is really nice, but this is great to throw over anything, like tank tops, what I'm nursing, um, t-shirt, not nursing, but pumping, I'm not, I'm not nursing, but I am pumping, um, so it's really convenient for that, plus it's really convenient to just wear with any one of the black leggings I already own that I'm living in, or even the, um, jeggings that she sent me from the previous box. And yeah, I own a lot of solid tank tops and t-shirts, so this is just nice to throw over to feel like my outfit's a little more elevated and I'm a little more aware of trends and I'm not just like staying at home forgetting that there is life outside of being a newborn mom. 
So um, those were the three items I kept from this box. Now, this box was more pricey. Um, I think I might have upped my price points on this box, and I don't know why I did that. Um, so this box I did struggle with, like I said, the price points of like what I was going to keep and not keep, and nothing was too cheap from this box. So um, I don't remember what I ended up paying for these three items. It was in the 100 and something range, which I wasn't totally thrilled about. Um, but if I would have kept all five, it would have been 304, no, I'm sorry, $406 for the five items. That is too much for my budget right now. Um, the buy all discount would have brought it down to 304.50. I will insert here like what I actually paid for those three pieces, but I was really happy with them. And as you guys will see when I insert clips of the, um, items on, really cute, fit me well, totally wearing them constantly and the convenience factor, you cannot beat it. So um, again, that is my Stitch Fix unboxing. I hope you guys found that fun and interesting to see what I got. Again, if you guys wanna try, I will keep my referral link below so you can get $25 off your first box and I get that credit if you decide to use my link and I appreciate that. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later, bye.